These three keybind tips will triple the speed you learn new mechanics, or if you ignore them, make it take twice as long to learn everything like they did for me. Number one, put power slide and air roll on the same button. Power slide only happens on the ground and air roll only happens in the air. So you can save yourself space on your controller and free up a keybind by just binding them to the same button. Plus, you can air roll into a wave dash and move fluidly from air to ground without having to take a finger off of that air roll or power slide keybind. This removes human error and will make you more efficient literally every time you wave dash. Everyone should do this. Number two, separate your jump and boost buttons on your controller. This is something that a lot of veteran pros have gotten away with, but if you're a newer player, I recommend you space out your jump and your boost buttons as far apart on your controller as possible. Possible. This is because with the way the meta has moved, there are so many situations where you need to fast aerial or neutral jump. And if your boost and jump are near the same part of your controller, the only way around it is to fat finger and sort of press two of those keybinds at once, which is possible to learn, but you should avoid if you don't have to. If you can, space out controls like boost and jump that you're going to use a lot as far apart on your controller as possible. That way, no finger needs to be pressing two buttons at once. This will prevent accidental backflips, and once again, tons of human error make it so much easier to learn high-level stuff that requires you to air roll, jump, boost, power slide, all that stuff back to back to back. Number three, every time you climb rank, increase your sensitivity by 0.1. Something I've noticed over time is that as the mechanical ceiling has risen, you're going to benefit from higher sensitivity in the high ranks. However, if you're lower ranked, you still need to just focus on consistency and a lower sensitivity is going to make that much easier. This isn't a hard and fast rule, but from my experience having coached now in the thousands of players, work your sensitivity up and you'll notice your car control progresses much faster than if you just keep it the same over time. Finally, one last bonus tip. Do not bind drive to your joystick like I did. When I was starting playing Rocket League, I copied Rizzo's controls, which means I don't have an accelerate and a decelerate button. I literally just use my drive button to control moving forward and back and this has made it much harder to learn ground control because I have to quickly move my joystick around from forward to backward if I ever want to change direction. And that little bit of time can cost you at the higher ranks. So do as I say and not as I do. And if by chance you're watching right now between the gold and champ ranks, my private coaching program is taking overflow enrollment for just the next five days. We sold out 125 of 125 seats. So if you want to get involved before we shut down and go on pause until spring of 2023, hit me up on Discord with the keyword key and we can talk details. Thanks for watching.